When creating richly developed characters in a game like Primal, the voice is just as important as the animation. When it came to casting the actors for the voiceovers, um, we wanted to use actors that were really going to get into the parts and really uh, have fun with the characters. They're the kind of people that are really going to bring that character to life. Well, no. The poor Undyne Agaru was attacking must have been dead for days. Well, if he does that to him, just think what he'd be like with us. With Jen, we needed someone that was going to be able to give us a real warmth to her character, but also be able to really uh, get into the demon side of Jen and, and really let go and, you know, really sound quite, quite fierce. And... You really did beat the crap out of him? I think the reason that they, they wanted me is because I played a character called Callisto on Xena, Princess Warrior. So I knew at that point when they liked that show that this was going to be based on a strong woman and there was going to be fighting involved. Scree was really the toughest character because we wanted a voice which, which didn't sound like Scree looked, if you sort of mean. So it wasn't like a little guy's voice or it wasn't a silly voice. It was a voice that had kind of ability and kind of depth to it. And the only voice we could really think of was inspired by a character in Babylon 5 called Jakar. And this character was played by an actor called Andreas Katsoulas. But I doubt we've seen the last of King Adaro. So when they conceived of this whole thing in the character of Scree, in their minds they really heard Jakar somehow um, in that role, or, or more precisely me, I guess. <laughs> so have been dead for days. It's the undying... Although both of the actors had done TV and film, this was their first video game experience. It's different working on a video game than a film because you don't have to worry about the way you look. It's not my body, it's not my likeness. It's just my voice, and it's my interpretation of the character. Then I get to act with Andres, and that makes it brilliant. And so you are acting. You're not just speaking or reading lines. I wouldn't want to do it without um, my fellow actor also working with me. I don't think I'd be able to do it as well without this ongoing relationship with Hudson, who's right there, and we really get into it together. So it's like doing a little mini play that no one will ever see. <laughs> Fight with great distinction. Uh-huh. There's nothing shown to us beforehand um, as to what the scene will be. They gave me a breakdown on all the characters, on all the different worlds, and all the different beings in the different worlds. So we're given that, and then it's just up to our imaginations to, um, you know, to go with it. And then everything that they draw and animate around that, we see later. Now that they have a taste of what video games are all about, will this turn them into die-hard gamers? I've never really come into this century yet, but this might motivate me in terms of my son and my daughter as well. I think they'll both be interested in, in going through this together, and um, I wouldn't be surprised if they want me to play along with them. <laughs> I bought a PlayStation 2, and I played for 24 hours within a week. My friends were like, you have to brush your teeth, you have to wash your hair, you have to take a shower, and I wouldn't. It's, it's like a drug. I don't know how people play games and go to sleep and get up and exercise or go to work or it's not possible.